everyone this is Amy welcome today to my channel today I'm going to just do a very quick fun flower using uh, these flat brushes I have two magic flat brushes a 12 and a number four and I do put links down below if you'd like to purchase through those those are affiliate links and a number 10 dear foot stippler and a fine liner by Westonia all the paints I use are folk art paints. I'm using yellow light, medium blue, aqua, thicket, fresh foliage, and wicker white. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the number 12. I'm going to stick one side into the aqua, one side into the medium blue, do my blending strokes. And if you're new to my channel, uh, I'm not real particular about how you load your brush. I just stick one side in, one side in the other color and do the blending strokes if I'm using multiple colors. Oh, you know what? I'm starting wrong. Let's back up here. I'll put that aside. That will be next. I'm sorry forgot that I'm doing the center first. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put my number 10 dare foot stippler in. And then I'm just going to tap on where I want these flowers to go. And just for the purpose of doing the video, I'm just doing three. And now I'm going to the, the flat brush. All right, so all I'm doing is putting on the chisel edge and turning it sideways. I'm going to pull it out from the side and pull it towards the center and then do this again and just keep doing it as you go. I like to vary the lengths of the petals and you can put keep a space in between if you want to go back over it and make another layer you're welcome to do so. I'm just doing a single and putting it like this just kind of less is more on this one and I did get a little yellow in there, which is fine. I'm not picky about that. The more colors you have, to me, the better. But again, you can make them closer if you want. I'm just going to keep them just like this. Just very simple. Just push down and pull towards the center. Push down and pull towards the center. And the less pressure you put on it, the thinner your petal is going to be. So if you want them thinner, if you want to vary the thickness of them, you can do that too. A lot of times, anytime you do any kind of a variation, I think has a tendency to give it more interest. But again, that's just my, my thought on it. And it's up to you. If you want to go back over these, make them more, uh, more opaque, you feel free to do so. This is a very easy painting to do that with because I'm not laying, you know, layers over it. And you could also do it where you're It's changing the colors, you know, rotating your brush, that kind of thing. Up to you. Not, not anything difficult. I'm going to go back in with my Dear Foot Stippler and just kind of go back over the centers a little bit just to make sure it's all connected. They don't have to be perfect by any means. I want them to be just kind of loose. That's how I like it to roll. If you want it to be specific, then make it that way. Up to you. All right, I'm going to go in with my fine liner. I'm going to go into the greens, a little bit of white, go into the greens, the white, and get it full. All right, these are going to have their own separate stems. Let's have it come down like that. And this one is going to have comes down, crosses over, and this one's going to be the same way. It has its own little stem. 
If you want to make them all on the same stem, that's fine. You can also do it to where they're, they don't have a stem. You just do leaves around them. That's okay too. All right. Then I'm going to come back. I'm going to come in here with my number four flat brush and do some blending strokes and add some white in here. You can even do a little bit of yellow if you want just to change it up a little bit. Up to you. Again, I'm not particular about my loading of my brush. I just do it. And I'm going to try to lead with the light color on the outside. But again, I'm doing kind of the same leaf that I did in the latest video. I like this leaf. But you can do something else if you prefer. And just going to come over here, come back in, just pushing it down and wiggling it as you go. Do the same here, come out, come back, and done. And if you want to add, you know, some just out in the space beside the flowers, you can do that too. Actually, I go like this. in a lot of blue from that flower so I'm just going to come back over it and then come down here and I can blend my I didn't blend it a lot but do a blending stroke so that's why I'm getting the like these edges which I think are pretty I'm okay with them. All right, we're almost finished. Again, very simple design. I think I might put, again, this is optional, but I'm Wanting to put a leaf out here. And I can go crazy with my leaves, so I'm trying not to do that. But I might want to put one up here at the top. Just kind of swing it in here and do it like that and there you have it again you can do more less however you want to do it but there you go just a real simple easy design great for beginners all right I hope you like this video if you do make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you're new to my channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell prior to leaving if you would take a moment to share this video on your social network just hit the share button you'll find underneath the video and it'll be good to go. All right, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.